I'm sorry that I'm unable to attend the Cairngorms Wildcat Project Conference in person today. I had been looking forward to attending to find out more about Wildcats and to lend my support to the work undertaken by the project. As the proud owner of a couple of cats myself, both, uh, I hasten to add, are neutered, I'm extremely fascinated by the Scottish Wildcat and I hope that sometime in the future I'll be able to come to the Cairngorm National Park to see at first hand the work being undertaken to help this iconic Scottish species. As Scotland's only remaining feline native species, the Highland Tiger has been much admired for centuries for its untamable spirit. As a predator, it also has a crucial role to play in Scotland's ecosystem and its continued presence in Scotland is a valued part of our biodiversity as well as a good indicator of quality of habitat. My predecessor Rosanna Cunningham launched the Cairngorms Wildcat Project at the Highland Wildlife Park back in May 2009. The project has shown that there is a broad public interest in and support for conservation of the Scottish wildcat. The main aims of this project was to raise awareness of the plight of the Scottish wildcat and their conservation, including the main threats to them such as hybridisation with domestic cats. The project required a broad partnership approach to tackle the threats faced by the Scottish wildcat. I understand that the project report is due to be completed shortly and I'd like to thank all of those that have put in a lot of hard work during the course of the project, including the many volunteers that have helped with the work and also undertaken fundraising activities. I would especially like to thank Dr David Hetherington, the Cairngorms Wildcat Project Officer, for the leadership and expertise he has brought to this work. The findings of the report, together with other research being carried out, will provide us with a better understanding of Scottish wildcat populations and appropriate conservation tools. The Scottish wildcat is a fantastic creature, but its status is fragile. That's why it's important that we carry out the good work that has already been done to safeguard this species for future generations. We cannot just sit back and do nothing, or we lose the Scottish wildcat forever. That is why we must do all we can to help this endangered species. In fact, when asked the question recently about what I would like to see among my achievements as Scotland's Environment Minister, leaving the wildcat in a more secure position was right up there as one of the things I feel strongly about. So that is my personal commitment to work with you and to do what I can to help you safeguard the future of this fascinating species. I wish you all a very successful conference today. Thank you very much for listening.